Hello everyone, my name is Albert Lee and I'm with Synaptics. I'm a technical marketing director uh, representing uh, the FlexSense product line Synaptics. Today we have uh, some exciting three demos we'd like to show you. What we have today here is a evaluation kit from Synaptics uh, based on our FlexSense uh, product line. And this evaluation kit is really designed for engineers and developers for programming, configuring, and setting up our FlexSense device for a variety of applications. As you can see here, it's running on our configuration tool. And there's a variety of uh, uh, applications and register controls you can access through our configuration tool. What we have here is a gaming controller that is uh, based on our FlexSense products. And what we've done in this gaming controller is we replaced all the mechanical buttons with uh, uh, what we call an electronic button, which is based on inductive sensing. And part of the reason we're doing this is the problem with uh, a lot of mechanical buttons, they wear out over time, uh, they have a longer latency, uh, and it's very difficult to waterproof uh, mechanical uh, button design. So what we've done here is uh, replace all the mechanical buttons here with an inductive base button, of magnetic buttons. There is no mechanical uh, contact with uh, inductive buttons, so there is no wear uh, issues. Uh, dimmer wears out. Uh, another uh, a good attribute with uh, inductive buttons is because it's based on magnetic fields, it can penetrate through plastics, wood, or other material, so you can waterproof these designs. And uh, another very, very good, important feature of these inductive buttons you can control the displacement of a, a threshold. Uh, you can program the threshold level for the uh, uh, actuation, which is very important in gaming applications where uh, gamers are trying to apply different level of button thresholds to actuate uh, gaming macros for multiple player applications. As you can see here, uh, we, can, we have replaced all 10 of the mechanical buttons with inductive buttons here. Uh, one other feature that we added that's also very important is uh, magnetic call detection, which is also used quite properly for uh, charging dock detection, as you can see here. This, this next demo is based on a, a true wireless stereo earphone using our FlexSense device for human uh, machine interfaces. And we have uh, developed a, a variety of functions uh, in this device. As an example, we have a capacitive touch, all right, for swipe, uh, 1D scrolling, and then we, can also, we also added uh, a touch, single tap, double tap, triple tap. We also added uh, a force function, a press function, based on our inductive force sensing. You can see the gray circle here when I'm pressing. Another function that we also added in the TWS using our Flexen devices, we've added uh, capacitive in-ear detection, uh, which is replacing the uh, traditional IR infrared uh, uh, in-ear detector, which uh, is more expensive and higher power consumption for something that uh, we're using capacitive, which is a lower cost, uh, uh, easier to design with uh, in-ear detection. And then the, uh, the other thing that we, the last thing that we also added to this uh, demo is the hall charge detection in dock detection, right? And also detects lid closure as well also in this demo. And this is all being done on one IC, all, all of these functions in this uh, very small form factor. Thank you, everybody. That concludes our demos for today. Thank you again for watching.